Hi, Tim Roberts here, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, I'm going to be discussing how to create a variable radius fillet. So, we have a part here that uh, needs to be filleted. Let's go to our fillet command, and uh, you've probably always used constant radius. If we change to variable radius and select an edge, it gives us the option to assign multiple variables for the radius. For example, here at the um, start, I'll uh, give it a value of uh, 1.125. Okay, and let's say at the end we um, wanted it to, to go to a smaller value, uh, maybe an eighth, right? Um, so we can transition from a large value to a smaller value. This um, this number of instances here, these uh, vertexes or dots between um, start and finish, uh, you can increase that number to get more of those, uh, or you can decrease it. And those are also options that you could um, come in and, and set, you know, a particular radius value. Let's go ahead and create this fillet. Look what it looks like. So, so we've got our small radius to our um, to our large radius. Now, if you needed to edit this fillet, just like any other fillet, uh, we would go in and edit the value. Let's say we added another edge, uh, another couple of edges perhaps. Well, now we can come in and, and specify at that location, uh, we can specify also uh, maybe you wanted a, a transition value of a quarter inch, right? So you've got a lot of control with a variable radius uh, fillet, uh, much more so than the constant radius fillet, and um, hopefully that gives you some good ideas for SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching this quick tip video. My name is Tim Roberts.